Jeremy Lusk embodied the extreme passion and courage of freestyle motocross. But one fatal leap at the X Knights in Costa Rica in 2009 changed everything. This is the story of a legend, a tragedy, and a legacy that would forever transform the motocross world. Welcome to a new episode of Tragic Tales Stories. In the thrilling world of freestyle motocross, where every jump is an adrenaline rush, Jeremy Lusk was known as the guy who feared nothing. Born in sunny San Diego, Jeremy was already tearing up on dirt bikes by age three. This passion didn't wane as he grew. It became his lifestyle. Starting early, combined with killer drive and natural talent, he was rocking the pro circuits by 19. His career was one big highlight reel, with a gold medal at the X Games as the epic moment that established him as one of the scene's fearless riders. But Jeremy's vibe was about more than just motocross. He was also the relatable guy with a big heart, strong faith, and totally in love with his high school sweetheart. Jeremy showed that you could be a beast on the track and still a totally down-to-earth person off it. This contrast made him a legend on the track. Jeremy was a real person with a meaningful life beyond the spotlight. His commitment to his family, deep faith, and real love story with his high school sweetheart showed a different side of him. These vibes made him relatable and beloved, not just by the motocross crew, but by everyone who knew his story. This mix of hardcore sports performance and his chill personal life gave Jeremy a unique place in many hearts. He was the dude pulling off death-defying stunts, but also the guy you could know as a friend, someone who held love in high esteem. Jeremy's life is a reminder that passion and humanity go hand in hand, even in the most extreme sports. But what happened to him? Why did his life end so abruptly? Before we dive into the heartbreak of 2009, let's flash back to 2007, when Jeremy's backflip almost went wrong during a semi-final. He attempted a heart attack backflip, mega risky, legs extended, one hand on the handlebars, the other on the back. All of this upside down. The move crashes. And Jeremy, he just stands up again, like a boss. He later admits that the fall gave him the jitters, a new vibe of fear he hadn't felt before. Then back to 2009, the X nights in Costa Rica. Jeremy goes for that heart attack backflip again. The conditions were far from ideal. It was windy, so the crew quickly set up some barriers. But the temptation of the $10,000 prize pot pushed the athletes, including Jeremy, to the limits of their abilities. As he prepared for the jump, Jeremy ignored his earlier doubts about the unstable ramp. And then the jump, disaster strikes. Mid-air, Jeremy can't get back on his bike. Was it because of the strong wind? Either way, his bike over-rotates and bam, he hits his head on the ground. His helmet instantly splits in two. Unlike in 2007, Jeremy doesn't stand up this time. As Jeremy lay motionless on the ramp, the medical team acted quickly. They rushed him to the intensive care unit of Calderon Hospital, where he underwent a critical five-hour surgery to reduce the swelling in his brain. Despite the surgery, Jeremy was placed in a medically induced coma in a desperate attempt to protect and heal his body. The days that followed were filled with hope and despair for Jeremy's family, friends, and the entire motocross community. Jeremy fought for his life for a few days, but on February 10th, 2009, we had to say goodbye. His death left everyone in the motocross world and beyond heartbroken. It's a reminder of how harsh life can be. This crash not only took Jeremy's life, but also left the entire motocross world in shock. It was a wake-up call for everyone. It highlighted the sport's risky side and showed that safety needed to be taken seriously. 
The impact was profound. It made everyone rethink what motocross really entails. Questions about how tracks are set up, how crazy weather conditions affect safety, and the whole all for the thrill vibe were thoroughly examined. It forced the motocross community to consider how to push the sport without crossing the boundaries of safety. Jeremy's death was much more than a tragic sports accident. It touched fans, friends, and fellow riders on a deeply personal level. People came together online and offline to celebrate Jeremy's life and achievements. There were memorials, heartwarming tributes, and serious discussions about making the sport Jeremy loved safer. It was clear, Jeremy's spirit and passion for motocross would live on, not just in the stories we tell, but also in concrete actions to improve the sport. Jeremy Lusk was truly a game changer in the world of freestyle motocross, not just because of the incredible stunts that drove the crowd wild, but because he showed what's truly possible when you follow your heart and push the boundaries. He was the go-to guy for advice, the mentor who stood up for the newbies, and at the same time, the chillest friend you could ever wish for. His vibe, his drive, it's all woven into the sport, a legacy that endures and continues to inspire. Every moment on the track, every new rider taking to the air carries a piece of Jeremy's spirit with them. His story is one that lingers, not just because it ended in tragedy, but because of the sheer passion and perseverance he exhibited. Jeremy left an indelible mark on motocross and on everyone who had the fortune to know him. It's a mix of highs and lows, but most importantly, a reminder of how one person can truly make a difference. His journey, filled with epic wins and tough lessons, remains a source of inspiration, a reminder to always push for what you love no matter what.